welcome ladies and gentlemen to another indie horror game. This is the demo prologue for True Nightmare Roadside Cafe, where we'll be playing as a night shift waitress at a secluded roadside cafe. This is the prologue, working a shift before the events of the first episode, and as you can already probably tell, it has the visual aesthetic of the Fears to Fathom games. So let's see if it lives up to the Fears to Fathom hype. 7 p.m. Drive to the cafe. My last shift on this weird place, finally. Why have we why have we just stopped outside a bridge? Maybe we're just taking in the view. Seeing the, the pine trees and smelling the fresh, fresh air. Okay, sit in the car. Put some tunes on? We cannot put some tunes on. Let's go. Liking that we've got a drive mechanic already. Taking those corners like a pro, like we're in Fast and the Furious. And uh, here's the diner coming up, I guess. Would this be the, the entrance? Yes, it would. Okay, let's find our boss. Use the tab. Find a manager. Are you a manager? There we go. That's the diner. We do see someone inside there. Just looking at the door. Staring at the door. Okay, let's talk to you first. Hello. Good evening. Can I help you? Do you work here? Yes, I just started my shift. Can I get you anything? Maybe later. I'm just enjoying the quiet here. It's so peaceful. Almost too peaceful. Yeah, it's usually pretty calm around here at night. Tell me, are you here alone at night? Hmm. No, there are others around. Looks like it's gonna be a dark night. Take care. Yeah, thanks you too. Creepy, creepy person. Obviously not my manager, just the patron. Oh, okay, I'm at the steps. We weren't born in a barn, so we closed the door behind us. This guy... Oh. You're late! Again! Oh, I'm sorry. Traffic was bad. Never mind. This is my last shift. Yeah. Go fuck yourself. My last shift. I can't hear you. Come closer and we'll talk. You're the one who started this. Hmm. Alright. Seems a bit odd that you're just shouting at your employees from across the way. Oh wow, he looks a little bit like, um, if this is my manager, he looks a little bit like um, uh, Aiden Gillen, the little finger, you know? Look at him. Look at his little rat-like eyes, those little rodent eyes. If it weren't your last shift, I'd definitely fire you. Oh, wow. I'm sorry, by the way, have you found someone to replace me yet? Yeah, well, who else would want to work with, yeah. Surprisingly, we found someone pretty quickly. A young woman applied for the position almost immediately. I'm sure the customers will love her. Yeah, well, that's, it's our last shift. No, there's no point to burn our bridges. Just say the la- yeah, they'll love her. Alright, enough chatting. I think a customer's coming in. By the way, I've prepared some exploratory- Well, look, by the way, I've prepared some explanatory notes on the computer for the new employees. Please take a look at them as well. Okay, I'll check them out. Oh, oh. Creeping up behind me. Hello, sir. Hi. I want to make an order. What do you want to order? Um, I'll take one classic burger and one soda, please. Maybe you'd like a slice of pizza? Uh, no, I'm just, why am I trying to tell him otherwise? He wants a classic burger and a soda. All right. Okay, thank you. Serve uh, the client. All right, so I'm guessing we're just, we're going in here, right? We're just making the things. I'm a sucker for these type of games. I, I don't know what it is. Something intrinsically wrong with me that I just like these kind of cafe manager, managerial style games where we make the pizzas, we make the burgers, we make the fries. So we got hot fries. He didn't want that. He wanted a soda machine. Um, is it? Oh, right. Is the... Uh, oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. No, 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 no. The burgers are already pre-made and they're frozen. Gordon Ramsay would have a shit fit if he saw this. No. This is just wrong on so many levels. 
I can't take them anyway. Um, ah, here's the computer. Let's let's just have a quick look. Counting work. The guide. It's your first work day. Place a tray on the work area. Okay. Take the plate first, then put food on it. Right. Burgers are in the fridge. Oh, burgers and pizza should be hot. Use a micro. No, you don't use the microwave. You don't. The, the they become all soggy and oh no! For soda, use glass and soda machine. For fries, take pack and put the fries in it. P.S. If something goes wrong, throw it in the trash and start over. Oh, this is a shitty roadside diner, and I've I've played a few games that have been suspicious in nature. Right. Anyway, tray. This is the plate. Put the plate. No, need it. Right. Okay. Let's see. I can take the classic burger now. Right, and then. Oh, this is just so wrong. This is just so wrong. Oh, that hurts me. And I'm guessing we... That's not working. Well, I'm doing something wrong here. Soda machine? Well, I'm wasting this guy's soda. Ah, I see, right. Good. Got it all working now. Here's your soggy, soggy burger. That was it, right? You didn't want anything else? Uh, classic burger and cola. Yeah, right. Oh. Are you just like watching me work? You're not doing it, you're just standing there. All right. Here you go. Hope you like it from the microwave. Mmm, yum, yum, yum. You'll never notice that it was made. That it was frozen. It was pre-made, probably from last week. It was frozen, and we've just... You can always tell. You can always tell. What are you doing? Wow, even a snail moves faster than you. Your jokes are as bad as ever. Well, this snail can talk pretty loud, just like you. All right, Slowpoke. I'm leaving the cafe to you. I'll swing by in the morning, like always. Don't forget to clean up properly. Honestly, I feel safer if you stayed here too. Another solo shift. Ah, so he's shirking his responsibilities, is he? Let's go with the, I know he's gonna just come up and say something like, ah, go fuck yourself, but I'd feel safer. Sorry, but we can't afford extra staff. But I'll give you a bonus, you've earned it. Hmm. Now that's more like it. Oh, and don't slam the storage room door. It's starting to stick and you won't be able to open it from the outside. Ah. Got it. Thanks for the heads up. I'll be careful. All right, then. I'm heading out. See you tomorrow morning. Enjoy your evening. Oh, I should do a bit of cleaning. So we've locked up for the night. We've, we're even skimping on the lights. Minimal lighting at night. How convenient. So what, the lights just, what, turn off at a certain time? Really is a bad diner. Uh, right, what are we doing? Clean the tables. Okay. All right, we're just picking them up. Are we gonna stack them up? And nope, nope, they've just disappeared. There's some foreboding tension music going on in the background, but um. All right. Tables are all good. What to do now? Oh, somebody at the door. There's somebody at the door. Wow, you, you seem like a tall person. Hello. Oh, no, that's just me opening the door. Sorry for dropping by so late, but I used to open. We're open 24-7. Are we? Because the lights are off. Would you like to order something? Oh, that's great. I'm really hungry and still have a long way to go. Are you here all by yourself? Excuse me? Oh, uh, yes. I'd like a cheeseburger. The biggest one you've got. And fries. And a Coke, please. Go have a seat. I'll prepare your order. He gives me the creeps. There's something wrong with him. I mean, he's a mammoth of a man. Look at him. And he's just staring at me. Right, um, so I'm guessing this diner is open all the time then. It's just, we we have romantic lighting going on. 
Yes. Okay, so now we know how things work. Um, getting a plate. What did he want? A uh, hot cheeseburger. Mmm. Got that cheeseburger there for you. We'll stick that in the microwave, although it goes against every fiber of my being to do that. Uh, right, we've got the glass. Do we have to actually pick the glass or. No, we're just doing that. That's fine. Oh, and some empty package. Hot fries. At least <laughs> the fries have come from a. Not a microwave. God damn it. Um, that was it, right? Yes. Okay. He's not going to be there now, is he? He's going to have disappeared. No, he's still there. All right. Here you go, sir. All good. Okay, let's continue cleaning. Let's continue cleaning stuff. All right. Uh, what was that? Clean the floor. Do I need a mop? Is there a mop? Did I see a mop? Uh, yeah, there's one over here. I'll pick it up though. Oh, is it just the same thing? Oh, okay. I'm just apparently cleaning it with my bare hands. <laughs> cleaning the place with my bare hands. Is there anything here? No, there wasn't. Oh, there's a bit there though. Some by the door. Uh, where's the other one? There's two more apparently. Ah, did I miss this bit here? What was that? Ah, one in the toilet. And where's the other one? Oh! Oh! I saw these gangly arms coming at me. Okay, yeah, you gotta go be with that one. <laughs> Sometimes people disappear without a trace. Would anyone even notice if someone went missing? What do you mean? Thank you for the meal. It was delicious. You're welcome. Don't forget to look up. Oh, don't forget to lock up. You never know what the night might bring. Well, we're open 24 7, so. And remember, sometimes shadows come to life. All right, creepy dude. I mean, look how tall he is compared to me. Either I'm a really short-ass waitress, or he is a behemoth of a man. Are you gonna? You're going right. I'm gonna just follow you. I'm gonna follow you out. But you're just walking off into the bushes. Okay. Nothing weird about that. Nothing at all. Um, right. So we have to clean the floor. What was it? Oh, there's one over here then. Oh, this is the storage door. Ah, I see. The manager's told me not to slam the door because then you can't open it from the outside. I'm, I'm going to be locked in here, aren't I? Yeah, that's that's definitely going to happen. Let's do some accounting on the computer because why not? I thought I was just waitressing. Now I'm doing the managerial stuff as well. A scale. Let's calculate. Yes. Might as well do a self-assessment tax form while I'm at it as well, you know? Done. Oh, it didn't take me long to do the accounting work. Oh, something feels off. Guess I spent too much time sitting around. Let's finish up the cleaning tasks. Okay. What are the cleaning tasks? Clean the toilet. Right. Nothing's gonna go wrong. Hmm, okay. Boo. Yeah! Gotcha. What the heck? Just a little last day prank. It was priceless seeing your scared face. Such a jerk. Hey, take it easy. It was just a joke. No need to get so mad. Next time I'll punch that pretty face of yours. Oh, and I brought a couple of boxes. When you're done here, take them to the storage room. Wow, seriously? Yeah, seriously? Maybe this guy's the maniac psycho person. Because he was obviously home, and then he came back. Where are these boxes? I'll wait until you're done here. 
Maybe you'd like to help me? No. Jeez. All right. Um, oh, oh, these are boxes over here? You want to bring these in? No? This is where the guy walked off into, isn't it? No, it was over here. Uh, right, what's my task then? Clean the toilet. Oh, I st right. I was meant to have cleaned the toilet, but he jumped out at me. I understand. I see. It's weird. Some doors you can just bust open as you walk past them, and then other ones you have to actually physically open. We'll keep that door open, though. We'll keep the toilet door open. Get the boxes into storage. What boxes? Oh, maybe I... Okay, maybe I need to now... Because he's giving me the prompt. These are the only boxes I can see. So, no? No, you still can't do that. Trash? No? Oh, there was something there. No. Oh, the boxes have mysteriously arrived now. Okay, into the, this is where... He, he's going to lock me in, isn't he? Yeah, he's going to lock me in. Mm. You're not going to lock me in, are you? Come on. I don't want to sound... Uh, okay. Yep. Door's gonna stick. I see. Put you there. Oh. He hasn't locked me in. It's time to finish accounting now. Wow, that bonus better be a pretty paycheck day because we're doing everything in this place. Three AM. Wow. Take out the trash. Boy. Oh, he's gone, is he? Hmm, the manager's car is still here. Any more funny jokes? Um well my new task now is find the manager, so well, let's check his car. The car's empty. No keys. Has he gone around the front, maybe? Oh, the door's open. He's not in here, is he? Maybe I should look for him outside. Okay. Down this little path. Where did the other guy go? He walked off, and then he went this way, didn't he? He just went off into the bushes. Oh, that was over here, then. Um... Dumpster's got to be the place, right? He's got to be dead in the dumpsters, maybe? Or he's going to jump out at me again? Oh. Oh. We've got some, uh, we've got some jam. Oh my god, how much blood? Follow the blood trail. Is that going this way? No. Ah, it's going this way, is it? Yes. He could still be pranking us, couldn't he? I need to call the police now. Call the police using the phone in the cafe. No, I think he's pretty much dead. Yeah. Dead as a dodo. Right. Oh, can't go through the bushes. Damn, it slammed again with the wind. The main door should be open. Ah. Uh. It was. I checked it earlier. Call 911. Come on. 991, what's happening? Oh, he's right there. There's blood. Uh, I need help. Someone's here. Oh, man, where are you right now? Oh, run, 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 run. Okay. We're running. Where's my car? Where's my car? There's my car. Storage? I have to lock myself in storage? Oh... I won't have time to start the car. To be honest, you know, that's that's fairly that's fairly accurate. You wouldn't have had time to open the car door, so you know what, I'll give that. That was actually that was quite a good one. He was slowly getting up from behind the counter and then um, coming towards us. So we're gonna go dashing round, I think. Call 911. Right. Come on. What's happening? I need help. Oh, did I give No. 
we're going to the store. Oof. Oof. Is that the same guy? Because he's like wearing different clothes now, right? It's, it's a different guy. Is he going to bust down the door? Scarford. He's rabbiting. Huh. You think it's safe to go out? I think it's safe to go out. Uh, the plinky plonky music. I did the right thing by telling... I did the right thing by telling to 911 my address. Did I though? I don't think I did. I don't think that was one of the options I, I uh, went for. The police were lucky enough to be nearby and scared off that psycho. My manager was less fortunate. I'll never forget that night. It was a true nightmare. So there you go guys, that was the demo prologue for True Nightmare Roadside Cafe. Um, much like in the Fears to Fathom format, you know, there are a few red herrings. We have the first guy originally with a cap, um, who was just asking us if we were working by ourselves. We had the creepy, jerk-like manager, who could have been a suspect as well. And then we had the third guy. I don't think the psycho person who came after us was the same person that we served before that crept up on us. There was actually, I got a, I got a few jump scares in there. I had two. And that's for, for a kind of short prologue demo. That's pretty impressive, actually. So I do, I did like the aesthetic. Um, I like the fact when we were calling the cops, the guy slowly got up from the from behind the counter, and the gangly arm movements as well was uh, was pretty good. Was pretty impressive. You know, on this channel, I've played a lot of games like this where we're serving at a late night diner or at a convenience store or a laundromat sort of thing, and you do get the same type of tropes happening, like clean up, take the trash out, make a burger. But I'm just a sucker for them. I enjoy them. You know. And I got jump scared twice. What are you going to do? Anyway, guys, let me know what you thought in the comments below. Like or dislike the video. And if you've made it this far, uh, I appreciate that. Thank you. If you haven't already, please sub. It helps me out immensely. And I'll see you on the next one. Stay ghoulish. Bye.